Hey Taurus, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. It has been so loud I couldn't do your reading. It, the storm is so, so loud. So it seems to be a little quieter now. I know most of you like storms, so. Oh, the rain's getting heavier, but the thunder and lightning seem to be a little bit calmer than it was. So if we get scared, I apologize. <laughs> Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know for Taurus, please? This is for November. It's for anyone with Taurus placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Taurus reading for whatever reason you're guided here. Anything could come out right to the last second during this reading. Even after I click off, I can still click up back on the camera. It happens sometimes. Also, um, if you don't know what this is, pay even closer attention. It could be a heads up to something coming. All right. There we go. Came right out of the deck. Present power. Uh, manifestation intuition and manifestation taking steps and at the bottom you have a people card of friends and colleagues all right let's see what we can find out present power so uh, this is like a Leo card it could date back to Leo season but it's a state of consciousness as well now this doesn't have to have anything to do about Leo but you could have gotten up into this different state of consciousness where you started manifesting like crazy because these two together would totally talk about um, Lionsgate portal if you know what that is great if you don't I have a video out on uh, it and it says blessed on it and you can check that out don't forget to watch the very beginning it'll tell you what it's about but it's a very it's a time we have every single year where this portal opens and we have a very short amount of time, like three weeks, to really manifest in anything we want during Lionsgate portal season. That's what this feels like. And intentions, see, that's an intention card of taking steps in a state of consciousness of present power during Leo season, manifesting in a spirit card, intuition and manifestation, and the intentions of taking steps. We also have over here a people card of friends and colleagues. So this could have something to do with something you did at work, in your friendship group. It could be something you're working on now. It doesn't have to have anything to do with the Lionsgate portal, but I am bringing it up for those of you that watch my channel and I coached you through making sure you were manifesting your best during that time. Anyway, Hope you guys check it out if you haven't, and I hope you manifested like crazy the last few weeks. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? What are the messages for Taurus? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Taurus reading for anyone with Taurus placements or anyone else who's guided. All right, let's do it. This is for the whole month of November, but it could resonate later on down the line or right now. I'm going to move these over so I save a little space there. What else do we need to know? What are the messages? You have the Three of Wands. You have the King of Wands reversed. You have the uh, Hierophant or the High Priest. You have the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. What else? You also have the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups reversed right under the King of Wands reversed. Interesting. Oh, there it is. We have something that wants to come out on its side as a challenge, the Hermit. All right, so we're going to talk about that. We have the Knight of Cups right there. All right, so when I see this, I see, wow. Wow, really? Okay, so this is, look at the Ace of Cups and look at the Knight of Cups. This is an offer of some kind coming in or going out. You know, it could be you putting yourself out there. But it's really beautiful energy. That night, bringing in that cup, which is one of my favorite cards. Look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. So, you know, and this is this could be coming in after somebody held back for a while. Because we have the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This is somebody holding their energy back or something that was held up for you and your kid, you and your children. This could be something that you have coming in that's new for one of your kids and yourself. Now, this you are not the first person to get that that uh, same exact message in that same exact spot this month. I don't remember who the other sign was, but it, it was like in the same spot. Could have been Sagittarius. It could have been, but I'm not positive, so don't 
don't mark my words on that. But this is some kind of something that could have been held back for you and someone you care about. You know, it doesn't have to be a kid. It could be love. It could be any. It could be romance. It could be anything. Anybody. It could be a friend. It could be a colleague. It could be somebody you really care about. But there's something that's been held back that's now coming forward, and it's really, really nice. So it's Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, um, and yeah, it was being for some reason it was being withheld. There's so much of the same energy here, so I'm going to do a little switch in here because you got to see this. There's a, there's almost like, um, you know, if this is love, then it could be twin flamey kind of energy. And you know, if you watch my channel, I don't ever say that because I just don't say that. <laughs> I don't like people to focus on twin flames because sometimes it causes them to stay in karmic energy. But for those of you that like it, great. For those of you that don't, just ignore what I'm about to say. But there is this kind of twin flamey kind of energy coming through or just tit for tat kind of energy, like two people in the same energy. Let's put it that way. And that you don't have to be a twin flame to be in the same energy. I mean, like I said, for some of you, this could be one of your kids that you really just have a great relationship with or a friend or a colleague. Okay, so don't buy too much into that. But over here, we have the King of Wands and he's reversed with the the high priest and then we have the queen of cups and she's reversed with the high priestess and that's why i switched the ace of of swords and the high priestess because i wanted you to see this energy coming through for both the king of wands and the queen of cups they're both in reverse but they both have the high priest and high priestess with them and it's weird because you know i don't care about gender these could both be the same gender but I do find it really funny that the king is here with the high priest and the queen is here with the high priestess. Just a little observation. Doesn't have to matter though. Okay. So we have the ace of swords. We also have the three of wands. So we're manifesting in a new opportunity, new beginning, and it really is coming. And I don't care if this is love or if this is some kind of other offer. Could be work, could be business, could be friendship, could be something else. But it could be two of you working together to move towards your dreams. And like I said, this do, this could even be mother and child because we have a mother and child card right there. But there's two people who are putting them and they could be giving to each other, sharing with each other, caring about each other, both giving to each other equal reciprocity. In fact, right behind that is the justice card where we are equally working together right and this could be after this could be a lot of work it could have been a lot of work you could be moving towards a goal moving towards that ace of cups realizing a dream beautiful there could be two people look at it boom there they are achieving some kind of success i mean i could go on and on moving to uh to fulfillment manifesting something they really want i could keep going on and on I don't normally go this far back, but there's just a story unfolding. Pe two people taking steps towards something beautiful. Now, this could be um, anybody, anybody to you. I feel everybody's involved, you know, like anybody. This could be anybody. For some of you, this is love. For some of you, this is a friend or a coworker or somebody else who's really important to you. I don't know, somebody in your spiritual group, in your friendship group, or for some of you, this is your child. Uh, I don't, it's really a nice energy though. There's nothing bad about this energy. There's two people working together, moving towards something and they're about to receive this. I mean, it's, it's like a new energy. They called it in, they've manifested it. Intuition and manifestation sits right above the manifestation card of the three of wands. I'm calling my ship in and it's actually showing up at the shore. And I know that because it's right here. You, it's like this sun, wait, I thought I saw it here. Didn't we see it here? I don't know why I thought I saw it here. Is it somewhere in the reading? I do not know why. I felt the six of swords. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. The six of wands and the six of swords. You could actually be moving. Look at the ten of um, pentacles, how it's a giant house back there. Now it doesn't have to be a giant house. And look at how the... Um, nave of swords is manifesting a new house it just happens to be back there so there's just something about the two of us are working together to get to something we're we're creating all right let's get into it i the hermit over here is realizing a dream over here but that's been the problem seeing something now whether the whether the you're waiting for the offer or you're waiting for 
the reality or you're waiting to see your manifestation appear. I mean, but there's something here about taking steps towards this goal. And this really could be a new job, a new um, relationship even. It could be a new job. It's something new. It feels new. Let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Taurus reading for anyone who's guided. Any of the people cards could be you. Could be someone close to you. What do we need to know? What are the messages, Taurus? All right, let's check it out. I want to look at the... Ooh, gosh, it's getting loud, guys. I apologize that it's this loud. Okay, let's um, look at... I know most of you are going to say you loved it. Okay, so good. I'm so glad that you guys like the thunderstorms. I do too. All right, let's look at this King of Wands and the Queen of Cups. What's the energy? And let's look at the, this whole center of the reading. It's all together. I want to look at the King of Wands with the High Priest. And I want to look at the Queen of Cups with the High Priestess. All four together. The King of Wands reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. The High Priest. Oh, oh gosh. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. The high priest and the high priestess is so unbelievably storming right now. Loud, real loud. If you can't, I know you can hear it. All right, tell me about the king of wands reversed, the queen of cups reversed, the magician just came out, the great manifester. Let's talk about the high priest, the high priestess, king of wands, queen of cups. What do we need to know here about this energy between these two people? Two people who are absolutely working together. Look at the energy between them. I felt that. Oh, the that I have to keep pausing because the uh, storms are so loud right now. Okay, we've got this energy between these two people. We got a beautiful new beginning with the ten of no, I'm sorry, the ace of pentacles, and there. Look at the seven of cups. How there's choices, right? I feel like these two people have this. I'm telling you there's this real connection between these two people. I don't care what relationship this person is to you because like I said, everybody's here. Friends, children, love, it's all here. Whoever this is to you, there's something here that you guys are about to get some kind of really amazing new beginning with. I mean, and look how the Knight of Pentacles, like this is my 11th hour save card. This is what I call this. I'm sorry, this was the haunted house tarot if i forgot to say that i used to use this deck all the time it really literally is one of my favorite decks i know i'm using it because it's halloween right now even though this is a november reading these come out before november and it's halloween so haunted house tarot we're also using uh the everyday witch and this was quantum oracle i don't know if i said all that in the beginning but this is my 11th hour save. See how that knight, usually in tarot, the knight of pentacles is really the slowest mover. He's, he's so slow, but he's very methodical, very trustworthy. You can rely on him, right? But he takes his time. In this deck, it's like he took his time. But then in the 11th hour, he came bursting through that door. Look at, like in a puff of smoke, he comes in with his white owl and his pentacle. And he's like, it's not just any pentacle. It's the ace of pentacles. There he is. So there, this really is something about manifesting in something. Two of you, there's two of you here. And if, if it's just one of you, then one of you has been manifesting the other person. That's what I feel. But let's take a look at that. My 11th hour save there, that Knight of Pentacles. What about that Knight of Pentacles? Oh, there it is. Queen of Cups again in the reverse again. Well, I don't know why these people keep coming out reversed. Because everything's so positive. That's why I'm like, what? Maybe they're waiting for this. Maybe this is something that's been a drain on them. Like we've been waiting and waiting for this. Tell me about Queen of Cups reversed. Why is she reversed? What do we need to know? Oh, gosh, the Ten of Swords. All right. Well, the good news about the Ten of Swords is it brings in the Ace of Swords. Okay, this is the end. There's something's ending. Okay, but this end is ending because there's some new opportunity on the horizon. And this is the thing. This is, feels just like a cycle change to me that's been maybe even exhausting. But it's on the other side of that Ten of Swords is that Ace of Swords, is that Ace of Pentacles, is that beautiful energy. Tell me about the hermit 
as a challenge. Why is the Hermit a challenge here? The Eight of Swords came out as a challenge as well. Okay, so, well, here's the thing about the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is also blindfolded and trying to figure something out, just like the Hermit is trying to shine the light on something, trying to figure something out. This Ace of, this Eight of Swords has to make a decision while being blindfolded. Like, I feel stuck because I can't see how it's going to work out. Well, we never really know how anything's going to work out. But it also could be that you were waiting for something. You could have been waiting for a job. You could have been waiting for the wheel to turn. You could have been waiting for a financial situation to straighten out. Six of Pentacles reversed. Three of Pentacles in the upright with the Wheel of Fortune. This makes me feel like you could have been waiting for the finances for something. Even a job. Tell me about the Ace of Swords here. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is what you've been waiting for. Your new opportunity is when that Knight shows up. The 11th hour save up here. Let's take a look at it. What do we need to know about the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles reversed? What's important that we should know about this? The Emperor. For some of you, this is going to be a job offer. You know, there's a lot of manifestation and a lot of um, this energy of, I'm not really sure what's going on here. And, you know, there's this 11th hour save. It's it's the pentacle and it's smack dab in the middle of your reading as well. So this really feels to me like there is some sense of energy between you and this person, whether you know them now or you don't know them now, whether you're working together for this. I'm going to look at it one more time. Tell me about this emperor, please. What about this emperor? Now, this could be the two of you dealing with the emperor. Like, he could be the money man who needs to bring in the 11th hour save. So we're going to look at that. Tell me about this emperor. What do we need to know? Justice. Wow. And the death card. Whew. Okay. It's a big deal. This is a big deal because these are all major arcanas. So this really says to me, whatever this is, it's going to balance something out and it's going to end an old cycle. It's going to transform something, which we already kind of knew here. All right, now let's take a look at, I know, do we have a minute? Just a minute. I want to look at the three of wands and the magician and the mana. These are all three manifestation cards. Intuition and manifestation, three of wands and the magician. Can we look at the intuition and manifestation, three of wands and the magician, please? What is it we need to know about this energy? Yep, there it goes. Look at that. I want you to see this. It was reversed, is now on its side as a challenge. Okay, and you also have the chariot at the bottom, which makes me feel really good, and the knight of swords. You could be receiving some kind of information. This could be like a lone person or someone who's going to help you with something. It's you and another person, though. I really feel this is a person who's helping you and another person. That's what I feel. And you don't know what the answer is going to be or you don't know if this is going to work out or there's something that you haven't quite got ironed out yet because you don't see it yet. There's something here about it, but you've been, I mean, there's so much manifestation going on with this King of Wands and this Queen of Cups with the High Priest and High Priestess and all this manifestation and this person is someone who is going to assist in some way. On this channel, I follow the likes. So if you want more Taurus on this channel, slap the like because I, during the monthlies, every single sign gets a chance to get more on my channel. Thanks so much for being here. Bye. Comment.